Today I'm going to show you a technique in SketchUp where you can paint a different color on either side of a face in SketchUp. So what that means is you can have one side of a face, like this left wall, one color, and the other side another color. Let's go ahead and secondary click on a face and click Entity Info. What this will do is bring up a little information box about anything that you have selected in SketchUp, in this case this face here, or this left wall. You can see these two rectangles here, and this shows the material that's on both sides of the face. And right now it's just the default material. So let's go ahead and paint the inside of this room with some color here. And we'll go ahead and pick this uh, kind of dark green color. So I'm going to paint the inside of this room. Now you can see the face, the selected face here, has green for one face, but the other face, or the other side, is still the default material. SketchUp will let me paint a different color on either side of the face. So I'm going to go ahead and just take a bright blue here, just to illustrate the point. And I will paint that over here. So now you can see with this selected face, we've got a green on one side and a blue on the other. So I can go ahead and paint the outside of this box dark blue. So all of these faces are green on one side, and dark blue on the other side. Now, there's a really neat trick you can do using this technique to look into what would otherwise be a hard space to see inside. Materials can be solid colors like we've used, or they can be translucent as well. So if I go to our paint bucket tool, and I pick a translucent color here, like this, this glass color, I can actually turn the opacity by using the slider here all the way down to zero, so it'll be completely transparent when I paint it. And I can actually paint the outside of this box. So I painted this with a translucent or transparent material. So what that allows me to do is see through one side, but the other side still has the green color. So if I go around and I paint the rest of this box with this transparent color, when I'm looking in from the front, it still looks like a green painted room, but when I look around from the back, I can see right in the room. And you can imagine how this can be used to look into a really small space. Now let's actually see this in practice with an interior that's being designed. So this kitchen here has a peaked roof, which is a really important design element of this kitchen. And I want to show not only top-down pictures of this, but I need to show some inside views that actually show the roof still being on. So it's not good enough for me to just delete this roof and show the views because then when I go inside this kitchen and look around you won't see the peaked roof at all which is an important design element. So what we can do is go back here and I've made this roof as a group so I can double click the group and as you know from previous examples once we're inside a group that lets us deal with each face individually I can select a translucent material over here, and I'm going to go ahead and slide the opacity all the way down to zero so it's completely transparent. And I'm going to paint the top of this roof, each side of it, with a transparent material. So now what happens when I get out of this group, when I look down from the top, I can see right through those two faces. When I turn it this way, I can see through the one that's facing me. But when I go inside this kitchen and look around, I'm looking up through the white material so I can see all of those faces just as I expect them. So really easy way to accomplish this effect. And the nice thing is you don't have to do any tricks having different scenes or hidden geometry or certain layers shown in some places and not in others. This is a really quick and simple trick. Uh, to really easily be, be able to look into this room.